this is what my home page looks like. And to see all of the teachers and all the students, I have to go to Manage Site and then down to Members. So here's all the students. And here are the teachers in our district. So if I go over to Manage Classes, I can see, NoteFlight will build this list, uh, I can see all of the classes that I've created in Google Classroom. Some of them I don't have assigned NoteFlight accounts. I don't need to assign this UMass Band Day class NoteFlight accounts. They're not going to be doing NoteFlight. Um, if I wanted to assign one of these classes, for example, uh, I could. Let's take this music production class. If I check it, then it's going to count how many users are in that class. And if I hit this update button over here, NoteFlight will give the six users in this class access to NoteFlight Learn. It's that simple. You only have to do this once or uh, basically any time you make a change in who's going to get a NoteFlight account. You can pull NoteFlight accounts away from students too. So uh, if we're done with this class for the semester and I need these three accounts back, I'll just uncheck this box and hit update. And that's basically how you manage your accounts with NoteFlight Learn.